One size fits all silencers are a popular segment of the market for several reasons. First, many people hate waiting a year or more for our Uncle Alan T. Fartknocker to give us permission to possess a silencer that we've already purchased and that we've already paid for. On top of that, if you want one for your AR-15, one for your AR-10, one for your pistol, one for your MP5, and one for your 22, that's going to be several thousand dollars and a lot of wait time. Many shooters would just prefer to get one suppressor that does it all, even if it isn't optimized for every single caliber. Introducing today, brand new, the Dead Air Primal. Dead Air's first do-it-all can. The Primal truly is a jack-of-all-trades, master of none. It's like cheap bourbon. You can use cheap bourbon for anything, right? And you can use it to sanitize a wound, help the baby stop crying, cure bacterial STDs, or get good, plain, old-fashioned blackout drunk, just like mom used to. Just like Discount Hooch, the Primal is a panacea, or a canacea if you will. You can use it on nearly everything. You can use it on pistols, you can use it on rifles, you can use it on your AR, your AK, your AUG, your lever action, your sniper rifle, your H&K USP, and your H&K MP5. Your MPX, your MCX, your Ruger 1022, or your kids little cricket if you get the barrel threaded. What's more impressive is that it's reasonably priced, relatively efficient in terms of weight and size, and again, you can hook this son of a bitch to just about anything, muzzle device or direct thread because of the wide selection of mounting options available for it. But we'll go over that in greater detail in just a second. Let's talk about the specs first. This beast is rated for up to 458 caliber and up to 338 Lapua pressures. It has a length of 7.9 inches, diameter of 1.62 inches, and a weight of 16 and a half ounces. It's made of 17-4 stainless steel that's been high temp Cerakoted. Because it uses the industry standard 1.375 by 24 rear threads, you can swap out dozens of mounts. To rephrase that, like many of Dead Air's cans, the mounting cap at the very rear can be completely removed and replaced with almost whatever you want. You want to thread it directly onto an AR-15 or most MP5s, then use a half by 28 threaded mount cap. Or you can use quick attach chemo adapters and install it on any gun with a chemo muzzle device. Or you can use the new Xeno muzzle devices, which I absolutely love because of their subtle A2 flash hider appearance and because the mounts thread in reverse, so there's no chance of accidentally unthreading your muzzle device when you remove the silencer. It comes with a direct thread 5.8 by 24 mount in the box, which is kind of the standard for most 30 cal guns like 308 and 300 blackout. It also comes with a hub adapter that allows you to install Dead Air's pistol muzzle devices, including pistons, boosters, tri-lug adapters for use in pistols and pistol caliber carbines. In summary, you can mount this on nearly anything, including a handgun, and MSRP is going to be just $929. The Primal's rated all the way up to 458. We're going to run some 5.7 through the FNP90. Ryan thinks that it's not gonna sound that impressive. I think it's probably gonna be all right, but there's only one way to find out. I mean, it still sounds good. It's nice that you can put this on just about everything that you own, and this is really what it's geared towards. You're not going to get the ideal optimum suppression for every firearm that you use this on, but you're going to get good suppression on just about everything. Dude. So this sounds really good, right? This is one well-made can to rule them all. It's one pound in weight, less than eight inches long, and it works with nearly everything. So there must be a catch, right? Of course there's a catch. The main catch is that this is a can that can shoot bullets nearly a half an inch in diameter. So when you're shooting 223 through this, it's like the proverbial hot dog down the hallway. And if I wanted that, I'd just go to your mom. Never mind. As we recently demonstrated when we were at Silencer Co, 
the exact same silencer in 308 will not perform as well on a 223 as a dedicated 223 can would, all other things being equal. It's safe to assume then that this larger can is optimized for 458 cartridges, and you can assume that because dead air literally tells you that in the manual. Really, this is like a 458 can that just happens to also work with a whole lot of guns and calibers. And while it might not be optimized for smaller calibers, it works well enough to be good. I'm sure the large internal volume of the Primal helps. That is, there's a lot of space on the inside of the can because it has to be fat enough to handle a 45. But the pendulum now swings the other way. This chunky boy is going to be much chubbier than most pistol cans. Dead Air's Ghost and the OSS Rad 9 are both 1.375 inches thick, which is somewhat the standard for 9mm cans. The wonderful Odessa can by Dead Air is 1.1 inches thick. That's over a half inch thinner than the Primal. This means that you can use the Odessa with standard height sights, and the Odessa won't block your sight picture. The Primal, however, will almost certainly require you to use suppressor height sights on a pistol if you want to use it that way. But here comes that pendulum. Back again our way. See what happens if you try to shoot a 308 out of a 9mm can. Additionally, the Primal's one pound. That's not heavy for a 308 can. It's about average. And it's even light for a 458 can. However, for calibers like 300 Blackout, 223, cans that are under 10 ounces are not unheard of. The Nomad TI weighs half as much as the Primal. It's an inch and a half shorter, but will still handle everything up to 300 Norma Mag. But then you can't put that on most pistols, your MPX, your MP5s, other pistol caliber carbines. The Primal is a huge trade-off, but for many of you, it'll be worth it. If you're shooting only 308 in smaller rounds, there are smaller, lighter, quieter cans out there, even cheaper ones. If you're only planning on shooting handguns and PCCs suppressed, then don't even bother with the Primal. Get a dedicated 9 mil can. For most of the calibers that the Primal can take, you will find a smaller, lighter, cheaper, better can. But then you sacrifice the versatility of the Primal. On the other hand, if you want to buy just one suppressor for everything and be done with effing paperwork forever, or if you're just grizzly f***ing atoms and you have like a shitload of 4570 lever guns or something, this is your can, no question. You can probably use a silencer on every gun you own or will own because of its interchangeable and open source mounting platform and its girthy internal diameter that will run anything, almost anything, up to 458. It can handle a whole mess of chamberings, but the Primal is only one pound and doesn't use exotic materials like titanium. It's rugged, it's full auto rated, and it's reasonably priced. MSRP, again, is going to be 929, but I bet the boys at Silencer Shop will have it for a lower price. Myself, personally, I have dedicated caliber cans, but I started with a 22 because it was cheap and I was in college, and it's a fun way to get into silencers. My love of handguns led me to buy a dedicated 9mm can first, AAC EVO 9. My first rifle suppressor was a YHM Phantom. Again, it was inexpensive, I was in college, and that son of a bitch weighs 25 ounces, but it pulled double duty for me until I bought a dedicated 5.56 can. But that's around $2,000 in spending for three cans, plus $600 in tax stamps, plus three plus years of waiting for the paperwork to clear. Here. With the Primal, for $900 and one tax stamp, you have a perfectly good one-size-fits-all suppressor. Tell me what you think about it in the comments. What would you do? Would you rather get one good can for $900 and one stamp that works for everything, or would you rather get three or four caliber-specific cans for two grand plus six or $800 in tax stamps? What path would you take? Help your fellow viewers make the right life choices with your insightful and loving comments below. Guys, thanks a ton as usual for watching. Thank you to Ventura Munitions, our ammo sponsor, and thank you to your online shooting store, Top Gun Supply. Thanks again to the boys at Silencer Shop for getting us Dead Air Primal Can number one. Check the cereal on that, pretty dope, but you guys are the most dope because we couldn't do this if it weren't for you. Thanks again, take care.